Hello there guys, how's it going? Well, it started to rain when I got here and then it started to rain as I was starting to put the shelter up so that's probably why you haven't got too much footage of that. Um, I was going to do some stuff before I put the shelter up but needs must with camera gear and things. Um, yeah, so I'm out in the uh, One Tigris Smoky Hut TP tent and um, I've got a new stove to try, yeah. I'm Andy, three stoves now. But it's a titanium one, I wanted to try it out before kind of trekking with it because it's a very lightweight one. Uh, so I'm going to give that a go um, in the woodland today and uh, yeah, cook some pulled pork I think, which is on the menu. Uh, I was here earlier today, so you may see some smoke. Um, I did last week's video which was um, cooking, I've literally just done it and I've forgotten, plank cooking, some salmon and some steak. Uh, but now yeah, I'm setting up for the night. Uh, it's whew, getting on for four o'clock, so not too much light left. So yeah, jobs to get done. I'm trying to decide whether I erect a tripod, like I did last time out in this, to um, remove the centre pole. But uh, we'll see, it's not too much of an issue, it's only me. Well, I'm doing it. I saw these a lot of downed birch around here, so I thought, why not? Just using the guy rope that come with the uh, smoky hut that I don't use, because you can guide out from the uh, edges. Should do. Actually got sent the official One Tigris um, stove jack, so I may as well give that a go. It's actually got the um, the loop Velcro on the outside, so you can keep it on all the time, and the flap goes over it, which is quite handy. But yeah, if you don't want to make one like I did, then you can buy one now. I think they're like 10, 15 pounds, not a lot. That's my titanium stove set up. Um, a little fiddly compared to like fold out legs and it's done. Um, I've already been sliced by the uh, chimney flue. Uh, it's happened twice now. I've only set it up once and done a burn in and set it up today. So yeah, you have to be careful with them. Very uh, slicey on the edges. You have to roll them rings all the way up. 
is what it is. It's uh, two, <laughs> two plasters today. So yes, that's all ready for later. I've got a campfire for now, which I need to shove over a bit really, because uh, set up the tent a bit too close. You forget, this is like a three meter um, footprint on this, which is actually quite large. And you kind of forget exactly how big it is. As you may have noticed in the background, there's a few oaks scattered around this woodland, or well, quite a few actually. And there is some deadfall, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some of that oak deadfall. Quite a big piece here. That's right near camp, so I'll drag that back. And some other bits around as well. been having an explore while I've been collecting up some firewood as this uh, woodland's very new to me. Um, finding some pine, even though there's not much here, it's clearly been taken down and it's nice and dry. Um, plenty of hornbeam, which is this one here. Uh, this was just dead standing. Um, it's a hornbeam behind me here and here. Um, that's a really good burner as well. And the oak as well, um, which yeah, is a dead fall from the oaks. Yeah, there's lots of options for things here. Oh, I needed that. Well, it's uh, on and off raining again. So I moved some gear in here and come in for a sit down. I do actually have a chair with me today. So I guess a little bit of an update. Might carry on talking about this later on, but um, yes, a new spot, new woodland. You uh, saw it in my last video, the plank cooking. And uh, now I'm gonna spend the night, get a feel for the place. I've been here once before with the guy that owns this woodland who's very kindly let me use it. That's um, two very kind people have let me now use their woodlands. So uh, they're both quite substantial size and I have a good freedom to do what I want. So good news for me, the channel, for you guys on some more interesting things to watch. I don't have to be hiding, being discreet or anything. Um, yeah, so I can do some, uh, some really good cooks, uh, some really good camps and You'll be pleased to hear I can do some shelter building again. So yeah, trying to think of what to uh, start off with, like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> For those uh, watching from outside the UK, we don't have the right to roam here. We have very strict knife and uh, edged tool laws. So um, bushcrafting as a hobby is very hard to do if you don't have a permission to do it. I've, I've got away with what I've done very well <laughs> so far, done a good job. Um, but yeah, here's going to be good. Um, lots of plans and uh, I'm very happy, <laughs> very happy indeed.
Well, I've relocated the fire, just five feet to the left really, just because of where the sort of tent ended up. Oh, smoky. <laughs> it's just taken again. And yeah, just need a bit of a tidy around camp. And uh, we're ready for the evening. Got some onion, I've got a couple actually, some red pepper, uh, chili pepper. To start things off, I'm going to be using the Dutch oven today. I'm just going to cut this into rings. Okay, and some of this. We've got a bit of a bed of veg in the uh, Dutch oven. And here we've got some pork shoulder. Going to take off the strings, it just doesn't matter. I'm not trying to hold it into the shape of a joint or anything. And we've got some soft brown sugar. And plenty of seasoning and spices. Paprika, chili powder, uh, garlic powder, cumin, usual sort of things. I've got some wild garlic leaves. Should chop them really. And here they are, they can just be sprinkled in there. This grows in abundance down by the, the small stream on this land. And the one last thing I want to add to this, apple juice. I want to kind of braise this to speed up that time till we can uh, get some pulled pork. I spent some time setting up my sleep system, nice and simple, just a simple cheap ground sheet, my firma rest and my usual free season sleeping bag, which is going to be far enough for tonight. I'm still sat here in my shirt, and that's right in front of the stove. Also got my little UCO set up in the tent as well. Um, forget the exact name of it, I'll, I'll link it below if anyone asks. And the pulled pork still going. Pork shoulder's starting to break down now. And we're starting to uh, reduce the liquid a bit. So kind of basically a barbecue sauce really. Right, it's pretty hard for you to see because of the steam, but pulled pork is pretty much ready. In its own sauce, the onions and peppers and chilies. It looks very, very nice. I've taken the lid off, I've just put it over the coals there, and I'm going to put my um, tortillas on it, just to warm them through. See the wrap okay. Just gonna add in a bit of coleslaw. Didn't make it. If it was a cooking video I would have made it. <laughs> oh yes that looks good. Hopefully you can see me. I can't see the picture so it's <laughs> a good guess. My first pulled pork wrap. Mm. 
that's good. I'm a bit of a pulled pork snob from my background in barbecue, but that's not bad at all. That apple juice has really come through. Mm. Obviously you haven't got the smokiness, but still very nice. Well, this is number three. Oh, it's looking good. Well, so far so good with the stove, all seems to be going okay, it's not smoky in here at all. Could do with a grate at the bottom, I'll have to uh, make one or something. Spend some of my time finishing off my mallet. And having a couple of beers. <laughs> I've got a moth in here with me. My other stoves get pretty hot on the flue but this one did pretty quickly, I guess, because it's such thin metal, the titanium that you uh, roll around. Okay, I've set this up and I'm putting some alcohol gel, just normal hand sanitizer over it. I'm going to light it using a lighter and see how well it goes. I used most of my natural fire starting materials last night in the stove. Seems to be picking up again. I'll maybe I'll do two of these, uh, be two bits of bacon in each. And I'll start with a good egg.
down by the river and you can see all the deer tracks going down to the water's edge. That's the tripod with the cordage taken off. Uh, around there's where the tent was. Fire was over there somewhere. And my pack ready to go. Oh, and that's my mallet. I'll uh, stick that in the tree. Maybe I'll keep it dry. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, quite a simple one because I just wanted to get the feel for this woodland before we really start doing some work. Right, thanks for watching as usual. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>